we are the cast of To All the Boys, Always and Forever, and we are playing Know Your Role. I'm showing you a picture of rom-com couples. I take out one of their faces, and then you have to first guess what movie it is, and then for bonus points, if you can correctly guess uh, who the character is that we took out, then you get an extra point. My knowledge of rom-coms is not that good, so the bar viewers, the bar, keep the bar right down here. Don't expect a lot from me at this moment. When Harry met Sally? And that's? That's ha Harry. Harry. Play, it's play, that's Harry. <laughs> played by Billy Crystal. I've actually cool. never seen this movie. I've I never seen it either, but it's my sister's favorite movie. And I don't know why. Me too. Really? I think I would love it, but I don't know why. I've just never gone around to see it. I know. Movie night. This is the classic. I once went to Cat's Deli with a friend, and we ate there, and then we went and watched When Harry Met Sally to make it a whole When Harry Met Sally themed evening. <laughs> I got a... The Reuben. Reuben. Yeah. yeah, that's what I was looking for. <laughs> a cheesecake and a pickle. Oh, call me by your name. We should do a countdown next time. And that's Timothy Chalamet. Yep. Elio. Oh, this movie. I feel like it just had all the feels. One time we took a photo with Ali Wong where we tried to reenact the <laughs> this very picture. I'm kind of wearing the same Love color that. shirt Timothy is, so maybe I, <laughs> I... I feel like I've seen this picture. I remember it. it's from last year, right? Oh, yes! Yes! Aha! Aha! I know this one. I know this one too. Right here. Say it all on three, two, one. Crazy Jesus. That's uh, Constance Wu. Mm -hmm. Can't remember uh, the name of this character. Rachel. Yes, right. I saw it twice in theaters because I loved it so much. Go Asian people. I love this movie too. I feel like this this film came out at the same time our first movie came out. Um, so it was kind of a joy to like be able to go to the theater, watch Crazy Rich Asians, and then come home and stream to all the boys. Um, so that was like a very special time. Um, Aquafina's hilarious in it as per usual. Bok bok bitch. Okay. Three, two, one. Right, Mr. Darcy. Oh, I said Mr. Darcy. That was John Cusack, but it was Matthew me. McFadden. The scene was so beautiful, and they filmed it at sunset. And I just, I keep thinking like how everything had to come together, per come together perfectly to get that shot of them like about to kiss with the sun shining right through. Oh, I've it's never seen it. I've never seen this movie. <gasps> Movie night. It's so beautiful and so gorgeously acted, and the score is amazing. It's like a work of art. We should make a list of all the movies we need to watch together. It reminds me. The, it just the title reminds me of like something I would read in English lit, which I well, did. It is. It is. Often. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't read anything in English lit. I'm not. I I used to not read ever. Romeo and Juliet. Did you not see this? I've seen it in class. I've seen it at school before in like social studies. What confused me was like, there's she's the fairy. I didn't think Juliet was a fairy, yeah. but maybe that's just like a moment. Yeah. Haven't watched the film, but there's something about this embrace. Also, we all looking fine as ever. Um, that is seared into my mind. I, I was gonna guess Lord of the Rings, but then I was like, that's not really a rom com. Well, I can see from the hairstyle and the wings. Yeah, I thought it was like uh, armor. Yeah, what, what, was Jennifer Gardner? No, not not Jennifer Gardner. Who was the uh, the elf princess in Lord of the Rings? Not Liv Tyler. Liv Tyler. That's I was like, is that Liv Tyler? But she didn't have wings. Elves don't have wings. All right, I missed another one. Cool. <laughs> okay. That's Kristen Stewart. Mm -hmm. Kristen Stewart. Is this a newer? Can you give us a hint? Is this like a new movie? This just came out. Oh man, what the heck is it called? I'll I'll be I home for Christmas. I'll can't wait to kiss you on Christmas. Kiss. 
Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. Yep. Happiest okay. season. Ah. Happiest season. Oh. And that is Mackenzie Davis. Mackenzie yep. Davis. Really know your rom com. <laughs> you do. It's a little unnerving. <laughs> I feel like if there was, you know, I'm, you know, I'm not much of a trivia game player, but if like there was a night to like, you know, if ever we're allowed out of the house, we could do trivia. My number one draft pick would be Mads. I just feel like so solid. I feel like we'd be a really good team. I feel like you'd probably pull pull most of the weight, and I and I would. No, no, we'd be a really good team with our minds together. Nothing can stop us. Yeah. <laughs> so that's baby John Cusack. Hey, hey, Lana, just say say anything, Lana. Just say anything. Say anything you want. Anything. Say anything you want. Say anything. <laughs> Thank you. Look at me, we're like, oh, we love rom-coms, they're a favorite genre, and here we are being like, well, we haven't seen half of the classics. I know, I know, I know that it's we'll catch up. referenced so much into all the boys, but never seen mm -hmm. it. Oh, I wonder what this is. I don't recognize it at all. He looks familiar. To all on the count of three. <laughs> Cinderella? Is this Cinderella? Maybe. It yeah. kind of looks a little like a like a crazy rich Asian to me. Um, okay, three, two, one. To all the no. boys. I, I love yes, it. I still love you. And the actor is uh, Jordan. Jordan? Yes. Sure. Oh, there he is, cutie. He's so cute. Fisher. <laughs> that scene was so stunning. So cute. Little babies. Little babies, yeah. Little babies. So sweet. Iconic.